Hey guys, it's BlackBerry Cool Douglas. I'm going to show you the uh, BlackBerry Media Sync for Mac. Uh, highly anticipated piece of software for Mac BlackBerry users. Um, a couple things to mention. Uh, Rim is calling this a preview build. I'm not really sure what that means. I don't know if it's a beta. Um, but judging from the warnings that they give you before installing this little piece of software, I think they're really nervous about developing for Mac. It's uh, understandable. Uh, two other pieces of information, um, using uh, the BlackBerry Media Sync uh, for Mac means that uh, Pocket Mac for BlackBerry and uh, Missing Sync will no longer work on your BlackBerry, so keep that in mind. Um, as you can see, I've already installed the software, I've connected my BlackBerry Storm, and uh, basically it shows me um, how much space I have on my media card, how much uh, total memory used, how much I have for playlists, how much free space. You can also set um, how much of uh, your memory card you want to leave open as a, as a bare minimum. Um, you have to have a uh, memory card to use BlackBerry MediaSync. You can't just use it with the, uh, the default memory on the, the device. And when you do sync it, uh, a bunch of playlists come up. So let's see what we got here. I got some uh, Emily Haynes and the Soft Skeleton, some Fleetwood Mac. Some girl talk, uh, ignore the stolen, um, cat power, uh, thrush hermit, some justice. So let's uh, let's add the, the justice and the girl talk, which is about three albums worth of music. So you can see as soon as I did that, it told me it's going to be about 208 megabits or three percent of uh, my total space. And uh, once you do that, you're ready to go. So let's uh, sync it. Now, instead of uh, syncing selected playlists, you can kind of uh, just tell uh, BlackBerry Media Sync to just go nuts and uh, fill your hard drive space uh, or your micro uh, SD card space. But uh, I like to be a little bit more selective. Unfortunately, um, to add playlists, you can't just kind of drag over albums that you have in your iTunes. You actually have to make specific playlists out of them. It's a little annoying. But that's okay. And as you can see, in that little brief description, uh, we're already done. So I'm going to disconnect my storm, and uh, we're going to see if it worked. So I just uh, hit the eject button here, allowing me to safely disconnect my BlackBerry. Mac BlackBerry users will know that it's very important to do that, because you do not want to uh, bork your micro SD card. Now let's go to um, music, and uh, we'll see if those playlists are there. Well, it's loading up the uh, micro SD card here, as you can see. Uh, taking its sweet time, but that's okay. Song list is uh, increasing as we speak. I don't know if you can see it. I'm using another BlackBerry Storm to record this. And uh, let's go to uh, playlists. As you can see, I have three playlists: the uh, Justice playlist I added, and uh, the Girl Talk. So let's uh, uh, let's listen to some Justice. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sounds pretty good. Now, uh, my iTunes playlist is a little goofed up right now, uh, so the album art did not uh, come included, but uh, if I had it working properly, you would see the album art as well. There's a little bit of real talk. Alright, let's go uh, BlackBerry Media Space.